What's going on everybody? Welcome back. I appreciate you being so patient with me. A lot of questions, a lot of topics coming through my way and I'm filtering through trying to figure out how I want to present some of these topics and today uh, I want to be creative with things. So what the topic today is, I think we all have an issue with balancing life. Now I've been going through it for the last few months, going through ups and downs of trying to figure out you know, how workflow, how my personal life, how my workouts, all this stuff goes about. But I want to make it a point to have people visualize certain things. And so let's think of it like this. Just flow with me for a little bit. See where I'm coming from with, with this video and see post below what you think. So for instance, if we took a glass of whatever, this is you, this is a representation of you, all right? Majority of the time, you're, you're full bodied, you're energetic, you wanna give yourself to the world, you wanna be passionate about certain things, but think about it. So if you poured yourself out to your family, this is a glass for your family, and you filled up everybody in your family, you know, by giving them your time, energy, effort, your, you know, you just being there, spending so much, um, just being part of their lives. And the next thing you know, you're, you're such a giving person that you don't wanna neglect your friends, so you spend time going out with your friends. Again, you pour into them, right? And, and, and you develop your friendships. You go out, you, you go eat, you go have conversations, you have drinks, it makes you feel good. Um, but at the same token, you gotta wake up every single day right? And you got to do what? You got to make that money. You got to follow your career. So here, a glass towards that. Putting your energy towards your career. Putting your energy towards your workflow. Putting your energy towards, you know, making a life. Um, making money to, to live up to, you know, what you envision your life going to be. Um, another thing, a big thing that I've come across so many people with my videos is you're still in school or you've been going back to school to better yourself. So you're using your energies, you're studying, you're you're just, you know, putting everything out there and you you take that extra energy to put in the hours of work, the hours of just honing on your craft, the hours of focus, the hours of lectures, um, homework and all this stuff, right? And last but not least, you know for a fact that you get pushed and pulled in so many different ways. And all your other obligations, such as, you know, going to the gym, getting your body right because you gotta balance that with your head. You gotta balance that with, um, you know, just getting these energies out. Um, you, you might feel exhausted, but you gotta get other obligations. You know, you may have wanted to volunteer and, and gone out and volunteered and stuff like that. And, and you wanna just continue to give to people and give to people. And lo and behold, you think about it after a while, you become empty. You end up being so exhausted, so tired, because you constantly put yourself towards everything else. And granted, you know what? We've been told for the longest time to give and give and give. And I started to believe that, you know what? You have to have a balance. You have to give, but you have to be willing to receive you know, all the energy, all the love, all the understanding, all the, the time and energy and effort you put towards others and give to others need to be reciprocated back or you're going to be empty. And then you're going to be, you know what, broken down. And then you're going to be exhausted. And then you're going to be wondering why you're just frustrated with life and, and why you know, things aren't going your way and why you're just tired all the time and why you're so grumpy. It's because you haven't had the same reciprocated back to you. So what I mean by that, there's going to be times where you're going to be giving yourself to everybody else and everything else. But the important part is also, as much as you, for instance, your family, you got to find out that they're pouring back into you. With your time, energy, and friends, um, towards your friends, as much as you call, as much as you text, as much as you reach out to them, I'm saying they should do that for you too. It's a balance. Work. You can't always constantly be at work and stressed over your career and stuff like that. There has to be a balance where you have to enjoy what you do. And for a lot of people out there, you know, you I understand it. You roughing it right now. You're you're getting a job, and and I, I commend you on it. You're working hard 
to provide. But at the same time, you want to find that work that's going to make you fulfilled. Not all the time it has to be about money. Yes, money does take care of stuff and it allows you to live a certain lifestyle. But look, if you are constantly stressing about money, either you got to change your lifestyle up or you need to come to the realization that, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. If you're unhappy with work, you got to figure out when you're spending that 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day at your job, if you're not happy there, why are you going to stress out? Continue moving forward. Find something that makes you happy. Pour back into you, right? The other thing, we talk about school. I've gone through it. I've studied things because so many people told me, you know what, in order to become a, a successful this and make this amount of money, you should study this or you should become this, a doctor, an engineer, ball. things that wasn't about me. Look, for all those who are students right now, remember, when you study and you go forth towards something your heart and you're so passionate about, all you're doing then is pouring back into yourself because you're going to be loving what you're studying. All right? So remember that. And again, your other obligations, your volunteering, all that stuff that you do outside, you know, outside of what you're, you're nine to five, outside of, you know, this, the gym, going to the gym, making yourself feel good. Uh, volunteering, if it's with church, if it's with a nonprofit, if it's just helping people along the streets, make sure pour back into you. Because at the end of the day, there's probably a whole bunch of other topics, a whole bunch of other things that can pour back into you, but you need that balance. And I wanted to share this video because it's so important. It is so important for us to realize that, look, you cannot continue pouring into all the other buckets and continue pouring to everything and everybody else and not get that reciprocated back to you. As selfish as some people may think it is, it's selfish for them to think that you always should continue going to them. They should be pouring back to you. It's a balance, all right? So again, let me know what you think. I honestly truly believe, because I've been through it, and I've wondered why I was so exhausted and why you know I'm just like, oh, exhausted and tired and, and grumpy at times. So it's because I was empty. I was running on fumes because I was giving so much and giving and giving so much. And I needed to figure out ways to receive and receive and, and fill up my, my bucket and fill up my cup and make me whole in order for me to continue passing it on to everybody else. So let me know what you think. Comment below, please. The balance of life. That's what it's all about. Um, I will be doing a community chat soon. Log on to my Facebook. I'll be posting a date. And if you have any thoughts, questions, email me. All the information is below. But please, comment below. Let me know what you think about this topic. I will be back soon. I love you. Take care. Stay blessed, everybody. And follow me on Instagram. Cheers.